Briggs, Elder Blacklight, your motivator, your Supreme Conscious Council of the Elders. This young brother here is, I think he's on, he's on to something. I know that uh, some of what he's saying, you know, I don't know. I can't say one way or the other if it's true. But it sounds about right. My 72 years of being, in my experience in the music business, it sounds about right. I want y'all to listen to something. So now I'm finna go to the sacrifice thing, cause now I take him back to what Dan, what Dan and Dad said. Dan and Dad said sacrifice when he was talking. They love to sneak sacrifice in. They love to sneak. I knew somebody was gonna say say that off top. They love to sneak that in. And Dan and Dad's one of them motherfuckers too. You can't even get in the industry. You are not getting to a certain level in the industry without selling your soul. That's it. And that's all. That's why people be like, oh, how you gonna say he is? How you gonna say he's there? You cannot get to a certain level in the industry and not say, you know what I'm saying? And um, and without selling your soul. They control the money. They control the media. They control everything. You're not getting to a certain um uh, uh, a certain uh, a certain amount of money. You're not getting to a certain bracket in that industry unless you sell your soul. That's it. And that's all. Why you think all the motherfuckers who ain't sold they soul? They just regular old just um just regular old rappers. Come on. Do you think people or brothers like myself? I peeped it. And I, I just quit uh, uh, trying to uh, promote myself or promote even singing clubs. I don't, I don't even want to sing in uh, nightclubs or bars because Seagram Jen, uh, they got part of Sony Records, and the more I studied the game, the more. I said, you know, I don't want no part of it. And uh, later on the night, on the uh, midnight chit chat, I'm going to come on and go a little deeper into the music industry. I mean, I got children now that uh, I got a grandson, five years old, he want to be a superstar. But I ain't going to let him get with, uh, with uh, these uh, demons. So, I just wanted y'all to know I just wanted y'all to, to hear <clears throat> and listen to this brother. I'm not saying everything he says is on point, but I can see most, the majority of what he's saying from my experience is on point. I know how to, I know how to, how to, how to double roll, how Satan roll, how he can <clears throat> uh, use us against each other. He weaponized money. And if you study the history of this nation and the Constitution, you know, you'll see how uh, those who founded the United States They all washed up, man. Ain't, ain't, ain't no more uh, thinking like they, they think. There's a whole new smoke now. But when I say the game ain't, ain't changed, is basically it's the same game. But just add some technology onto it to enhance their trick knowledge. But they know that everybody got a certain price they'll sell their soul at. Some is higher than others, some is cheaper than others. Depends on what frame of mind they in. 
but you're not gonna hardly never find a, a dude that uh won't sell out if like Donald Elijah Muhammad. He woke the people up to a certain point and then when he tapped him to check out, he checked out. But he did his job. And you never know who for real until they bear fruit. You judge a brother or judge a tree by the fruit. This is black light.